Many of the dogs that I work with have issues with water. It's created by the owner in most cases. Unwittingly, they don't mean to do it, but nevertheless, it happens that the dog doesn't want to go in, you know, the pool or the pond or the lake. A lot of times this is created at the ocean and they take the young dog to the ocean and there's waves crashing and it freaks the dog out. You know, the dog doesn't want to go in the ocean and then the dog starts responding negatively and then the owners are acting different and it freaks the dog out and then the dog won't go in the pool. This can be rectified so easy. All dogs can learn to like water. They can, they, you know, about 50% of the dogs I work with, this issue has happened and I get rid of the issue by putting a leash on the dog and just doing what I'm gonna do with Camo, which Camo, you know, uh, I don't know if Camo has any fear of water. I, I doubt it. Camo, it's, it's just gonna be a natural puppy thing. Like, I don't, I don't know what this is. I'm not going in it. But Camo is a GSP and all these bird dogs, English pointers, they all jump creeks. I see this all the time. If I'm hunting with a GSP or an English pointer, they don't go through the creek like a lab will do. The English cocker will though. So we wanna make sure that Camo doesn't have any problems with water. I'm at Lake Seneca. This is a real shallow area. It's cold. I was in here the other day with Charlie, but I'm going to do the same thing with Camo as I'm going to walk him into the water so that he has his experience under his belt. That's what I'm paid to do. I'm, I'm paid to make sure, you know, that the problems, problems are, are solved or problems aren't happening. So this is my job taking a dog to Lake Seneca. So let's take him in the water, see how he does. It's, it's 95 today, but the, the water was freezing yesterday with Char. This is real easy. When you, when you get your dog to the lake or the pond and they stop, don't let them hesitate, just keep walking. That's why you have them on a leash. So many times people have problems with their dog, but they're not using leashes appropriately. Use a leash in your house. Your dog needs to be trained in the house. Do you understand? The leash is your number one tool. So we're just going to walk Camo in here. We're going to make sure that he knows that this is nothing that's going to hurt him because I'm going in it. I'm going to talk in an up tone to him. I'm going to I'm going to talk in a real up tone. Good boy. Good boy. You know, make sure that the dog knows that this is something that he wants to do. I swear to God, it's almost like 50% of the dogs that I deal with, the owner saying, can you get the dog to swim? The answer is yes, I can. And you can't teach a dog to swim. They instinctually know how to swim. So all you have to do is really start getting them in the water. You do that with a leash. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about getting the leash uh, wet. You should be using a leather leash. If the leash gets wet, six months later, you need to replace it. It's no big deal. You could also buy a biothane leash, which is sort of simulated leather. Those are the two materials, the only materials you should be using for a leash. Let's see how he does. Come on, Cam. See how he hesitated right then? Just pull him in, don't worry about it. Come on, Cammy. There you go, he's swimming. Good boy, Cam. Oh, you like this, don't you? Good boy, there you go. Come on, Cammy. That was easy. This dog likes water. He was swimming right away. He didn't jump in the creek behind my house, but he should. He likes this. This is. We're done. 
We're done. Good boy, Camo.